everybody, I am back with another awesome video. Um, right away, before I get into it, obviously you see I'm leaning up against somewhere close to $3,000 worth of batteries right here, so you kind of get the idea of what this video is gonna be about. Um, I gotta say nothing but great things about what you guys have done with that last video that I dropped, that Altrex video. That thing is out of control. Uh, you're breaking records, you're doing things that we didn't think were possible. Unbelievable, unbelievable. And I think when I ended that video, I told you to go over and check out Team Marine TV. You guys literally went over and subscribed to Team Marine TV. I can't thank you enough. We went from like 40 subscribers, like 600 subscribers. It's insane, insane, insane. I love it, thank you very much. Another thing, make sure that you are clicking the notification bell on that Team Marine TV. Why am I saying that? Because those don't get dropped weekly. You got it, you'll get the notification on that one that's dropped then. If you don't do that, you might be three, four, five behind, which then means you have to binge watch, which then means your wife's gonna hear my voice a lot in your living room and she's gonna get pissed and that's not gonna be the deal. I don't wanna make your wife mad, but if you wanna make your wife mad, go ahead, binge watch my stuff, I appreciate it. Anyway, but make sure you're clicking that notification, make sure you're doing what that you did on this one so you can get that because I was just talking to Jordan to that and he's like, no, we don't drop every week on that. It could be one this week, it could be two, it could be whatever, it's just, it's when he gets it all cut, done, drop, beep, that deep, bop, that kind of crap. So that's all on him, not me, that's not my fault, you can yell at him. So, but that's how that's done. Um, another thing was, we said, go over, subscribe, and we're gonna get a winner, and we have a winner. Jordan, give me a name. Mike Olson. Mike Olson is the winner, and here is what you won. Bam, right there. You won a Team Marine hat, I'm gonna ship it out. Get us, drop us an email, speed money, no breaks, correct, Jordan? Drop us an email there with your stuff. We sent out the other two winners last week or this week, maybe first part of this week, yesterday, something like that, we sent out. So as soon as we get your info, we will send this your direction. Thank you very much, appreciate it. Um, we'll do it again. I'm gonna give another hat away again. So go subscribe more over there on Team Marine TV. And if you're not subscribed here, make sure you get your buddy to subscribe here. Just keep subscribing and keep commenting and always click that little bell that goes Kling! and gets you the notification. That way you win free stuff, that's what we want. But to our team talk, should we do it? Let's do it. Everybody wants it. Everybody wants to know what's going on. You see it. Some people get it. Some people don't get it. We're talking batteries. And you know what kind? $3,000 close to batteries sitting right here. You're right in front of me, right, right off to the side here, we have all lithium batteries. And so this video is going to be about lithium batteries. You ready? We're going to do it. Let's go. All right. So we have in front of us, we have a Relyon, we have a Monster, and back here we have a Lithium Pro. Um, we're just gonna do pros and cons on this team talk. We're gonna talk a little bit about the good, a little bit about the bad, what's, what, what is it? I mean, there's a lot of questions about it, okay? So, let's get with the good. Should we get with the good right away? Let's get with the good. Um, the good is number one, weight. Number one, weight. Right here, guys, this is three batteries. What? No, it's one. No, this is 36 volts right here. This is 36 volt, this is a 12 volt, this is a 12 volt. Lithium Pro makes the 36 also, same size, group 31, all right? Some companies aren't doing it. Dakota also makes a very good lithium battery. These companies we have used, um, these companies have been successful for us. Um, Dakota has a lot of success, they make a great battery. Um, the advantage is weight, okay? We're talking weight, like this rely on right here. Yeah, that's right, I just picked that up with one hand and put it right here. Right, it's, I, I, I don't know when it comes in at a weight, but if I had my scale up here, I'd be able to tell you. It's not that heavy. There's not a lot of weight here, there's not a lot. This Lithium Pro, about the same. They're about the same. But you're gonna gain a, it's like, like when I'm doing 36 here, guys, this 36 Monster, which is heavier than these two, but it's not terribly heavy. It's to the point of where you're like throwing a guy out of the boat. Like, you, I know guys that have gone from X2 batteries, great battery, unbelievable battery. They take them out, it's like literally losing a dude. Their boats run better, uh, they're quicker, they get on plane, they sit higher, things are better. Now, when we talk about it, you talk about chargers. Now, we've been told that the Minn Kota Digital or the Minn Kota uh, charger does work on these batteries, it's just about settings. I would not recommend going and just putting them in code of charger in unless you talk to the maker of the battery company that you're getting. So if you're talking to Monster, Monster offers its own charger. Lithium Pro offers its own charger. Relyon, I do not believe offers their own charger yet, but Relyon was the one that told me that we could use the precision charger on it. Um, it's just a matter of setting it to the right setting. So that's what's crucial here, guys. It's not 
you can't just go grab and put this rely on in and then just hook your bolt charger up and it's not ready to charge that style battery that's some bad things happen okay now lithiums have been getting kind of a bad rap when it comes to um when they go boom and when they go boom they go boom um i had a test one time at a battery place here he took a literally a tiny watch battery and made it go boom inside of a sealed area it sounded like a 410 shotgun going off a 410 shotgun going off i've heard guys say that um there's been some stuff that's happened that, you know chargers boom going out it sounds like dynamite stick of dynamite going off now the big thing about it is guys you can't if you're plugging it into your garage you need to have ground faults okay you need to plug it directly in so it goes from garage outlet extension cord directly to charger all right if we're not going directly to charger if we're going to like uh adapter with ports or we're doing something else i am not a fan of it i am not a fan of it i don't believe that it should happen that way i don't like that even in with the standard old chargers you know you have a break there we want to go from wall to charger clean 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 now advantage we're going back to advantages on this now now charge rate how quick do they charge they charge up extremely quick extremely quick um there's guys that have told me that uh, lithium pros were charging up in 20 minutes they get back to the house boom 20 minutes ready to rock and roll same with the monsters um same with the reliant all the brands charge up extremely quick they also have that power range from when you start off at 100 percent, you still have that same 100 percent until it turns off so any of you guys that are in construction or doing anything and you're running or anybody that's running those new drills like your Milwaukee drill, uh, your snap-on drill, any of that lithium stuff, when it, when that little LED goes from green to red or orange or amber colored, you know you're getting down, it's going to shut off. It's not that it has less torque or less power, it's just going to turn off. That's what they do. Um, so you got to keep that in mind when you're fishing with this stuff or you're cranking with this stuff. Now. I have been told that Mercury and Suzuki, and I don't know about Honda, but I think Yamaha is approved for it now with their new charging system. I think, I cannot guarantee you that because I haven't got the literature on it, for 12 volts in the boat. They originally had no problems, then there was some problems. Mercury, I guess, is kind of okay with it now. It depends what bulletins you read. Um, Suzuki did drop a bulletin that they didn't want them in there no more until they figure out the charge rates and stuff like that. Yamaha had the new charging system and I don't know how it's affecting with the charge rates on the, the lithium. So they don't need a lot of time to charge. So when you're running down the river and you're just pounding 14 volts into them and they don't need it, think bad things can happen, right? So it's just something you need to think of also when it comes to a 12 volt cranker or house battery. Another thing that they were saying, um, is decreasing longevity um, like Lawrence and hummingbird decreasing the longevity of your of your uh, electronics i haven't seen it it's not been proven to me that's just stuff that i hear trickling around out in the world um but i haven't seen it when it comes to like running a, a 12 volt rely on or a 12 volt uh, monster or dakota or lithium pro as a house battery I have not seen a, but you know, they, they haven't been around long enough to really get, okay, so I'm supposed to get eight years out of it. Am I going to get four years out of my electronics? Am I going to get six? What, what is it? You, no one's really given me a definite you know, answer that if you run a lithium on our depth fire, our unit, you're going to get only five years where you could have got 10 if you were going standard flooded or AGM. I don't know. Now that's just something that's been, I've heard multiple times, not just once, multiple times on it. So if it was me, I would run one. I'd run it what the hell i mean it is what it is chargers charge like i said these two brands have their own charger rely on i don't believe does dakota has their own style charger power pole makes a charge for them it is probably the best charge unit in the industry can you get one probably not i understand but it is what you should have in my eyes if i was building a boat or rigging a boat you would have a power pole charge and it would have a lithium for a 36 and i'd probably run dual um batteries I, I would probably run just dual agm or gel batteries on the other side just for the longevity part of it um and so that kind of changes things up when it comes to chargers you can you can say what you want to say but you, you're going to end up with 
I feel two chargers. You're gonna have one for your boat motor and you're gonna have one for your lithium and that's just how it is. That's the safest way and it seems to work the best. Now, uh, Monster makes a lithium slash uh, 12 volt charge, which is designed for a lithium, but it can charge an AGM or gel battery also. So that charger can do that also. It's just about the setting. We have to have it set right. Monster offers a Bluetooth link. So uh, Bluetooth capability, this battery is Bluetooth capable um, with their app and you can go through and then you can see that. Uh, very good battery. I don't think that Lithium Pro offers that yet. I know I don't think Reliant offers that yet. Um, but for me right now, they're all really good. What would I have in my boat right now? If I had to pick, I'd probably run on a monster. I just, I've had a lot of good good success with Monster. Nothing to say bad about anybody else's stuff. Um, we've had a ton of success with Lithium Pro. Um, the 36s, I've, I don't know that, I, I think I've sent one back. One back out of all of them that I've sold. So, um, everybody's gonna have problems, no matter what it is. It's just the nature of a boat. It's the nature of how it's hooked up. It's the nature of the battery, but there's, if, if I'm weighing positive to negatives, there's way more positives than there is negatives when it comes to lithium versus acid or gel or EGM. Um, weight is the biggest thing. Weight is the biggest thing in room. Now, you gotta remember, like, I always go back like 203 Champion. That was the biggest problem. You didn't have enough room for all the batteries. But you can just drop one of these in and now you're back to having room. You know, with the four-stroke technology eliminating the oil tank, the lithium technology eliminating two other batteries and putting one in, you can see the kind of space and weight that you're obviously gaining. You're, you're losing weight and you're gaining space. And what better do you want in your boat but losing weight and gaining space? I mean, it's like a weight loss program. Gain space in your clothes and you lose weight. Um, the boat's gonna appreciate it, it's gonna run better, it's gonna run faster, it's gonna sit higher in the water, like I say, your whole shot's gonna be better. Um, especially when we're starting to pile on raptors or power poles or talons and that type of stuff off the transom. You, you can adjust the the weight distribution by going with lithium. The, the worst negative thing is the horror stories you hear of fires, right? Now, until somebody can come to me and prove to me that the last fire was done by a high quality brand lithium, say bye to Paul, America, Paul's leaving. Yeah. If I, if somebody can prove to me that, okay, but I know for a fact that there's been complete blowups of, well, China built, I would say, um, not companies in the U.S. that are maybe using China products, but are taking U.S. pride and putting them together. Um, but the, the just the real off-brand stuff, I don't, I, I would never buy an off-brand lithium boat battery and put it in my boat and plug it into my house and cross my fingers that it's going to work. Right? I mean, I have an e-bike. I don't. It's not a generic done one. It's just not, I'm not going to do that because I don't want it to go boom in my garage and burn my house down. I get that. That's a fear. Like I said, I've had zero problems with these brands and the Dakota brand. I haven't had any problems. And there's a lot of them out there. We have a lot of them out there. We sell a lot of lithium batteries. Um, obviously, I have $3,000 from sitting right here. So I don't, it, is there, was there any questions that people had, Jordan? I would always, you know, check your breakers, make sure your breakers are up to date before you drop your lithiums in. Make sure that um, if you have, you don't want to leave your Minn Kota, your, your Lowrance or your Garmin trolling motor on when you're charging, especially if you're charging with a lithium battery. You can easily take out your trolling motor because it'll go through. Just take the switch and turn it off. If you're not operating with a on-off style breaker, then do that. Get to an on-off style breaker. Make sure it's the right amperage and make sure you understand what it's doing. Like Minn Kota has a forum, you can go on there, click on it, go right into their site and they'll talk to you about, you have a 112 and you're running this, you need to have this breaker. And make sure you go do that. Make sure it's an on off style breaker so you can physically turn it off or turn your pedal off, make sure your pedal's off. Make sure your troll motor's off. Disconnect from the boat if you have disconnect. You just gotta make sure that stuff's being done before you charge. Um, it's a whole new world here guys. This is a, it's a world that yeah, it's been around, but it's getting more popular. You're seeing way, way, way more of it. It's coming on very quickly. Um, it, it, but it's the cost thing. Everybody understands that 
well, I can buy three flooded for $127 a piece or $140 a piece, and I can buy one of these for $1,500 to $1,800 a piece. Yeah, you can. You're gonna get 10 years out of one of these batteries, probably. You should, I would say. Um, if they're taken care of, they're charged correctly, they're maintained correctly. When I say maintained, they're probably pulled out of the boat and taken care of. Um, you can also, I know for a fact that like uh, a lithium pro, I believe, um, you go 10 years, I think you can send it in. You can just send it in and they'll just go through it. They're like, they do a huge maintenance check of it and you should get another 10 years out of it at that 10 year point. So you're talking 20 years and that, that's not free. After 10 years, it's gonna be like five, six, 700 bucks, whatever it may be, depending on the maintenance it needs. But they'll go back and redo it for you for five, 600 bucks. Well, so now if you had 15, you get two grand into it for 20 years, $100 a year. Mm, it's affordable, right, Jordan? Yeah, that's affordable. So, and, and like you said, you can take it out, put it with your next boat, move it on where, you know, a lot of times you're not taking your, your lead acids out of your boat and putting them back in your new boat. You, you're gonna take this with the boat. I mean, you take it out and then drop lead acids in or just tell them, I got a lithium in there, it's gonna be this much more money. The value is there now. That's the, one of the advantages of it. If you purchase a lithium battery, the value is gonna carry over with it. It's not, like I'm saying, if you're two years in and you still got a lithium in there, you're still fine and the window's still there. It's not like you're buying a 1980 rusted out truck that hasn't been run in 30 years, it doesn't run. You got the power, it's being used, the charger's correct, everything's working. So there's a ton of advantages with lithium batteries, guys. A ton of advantages. Like I said, the disadvantage is, I would say the unknown, we call it the unknown, Jordan, of uh, oh, what about the fire thing? What about this? What about blowing? Yeah, I think it can happen to any brand. Yeah, but what I'm telling you today is that these, and Dakota, these three, these four brands are, are very good products. They're very, very good products. I would. I have, no, I have no problems having them in my shop. I have no problems leaning up against them. I have no problems. Customer service wise, Lithium Pro has been outstanding. Monster has been outstanding. The Lion has been great. Um, and then Dakota is, is always answered my call and they've done the best that, that they could do for certain things. Um, when it, they're all understand that they got to take care of the people and they'll answer your questions. Call them. They'll answer your questions if you got questions on the stuff. But definitely go check out the sites. You guys will have to figure out what you guys want to do. Um, obviously, your Monster Marine, simple, monstermarinelithium.com. Lithium is lithiumpros.com. And Rely On is, I don't know what their website is. Rely On Battery. There it is right there, relyonbattery.com, bam. And Dakota is dakotalithium.com, I think. So you just get on there and just go check them out. because. I think it's the right move, depending. I mean, I've put them in, I've put them into walleye boats. We've got them in, I think we have some in flat bottoms. We have them in bass boats, obviously. Obviously, you don't need them in like your runabouts, your sea rays, that type of stuff, your your big mercury stuff. You don't need it in that stuff. But for fishing, um, it is the it is the way to go. I mean, if I'm powering a 36 volt troll motor, I'm powering it with a lithium battery. I just, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm getting rid of a bunch of garbage I don't need. I'm getting rid of weight and getting rid of some, I'm making room. It's the right thing to do. So, for me, those were the brands that I like. Now, I know Iconic's got one. There's a bunch of them out there now. I think there's gotta be. And we're in firm belief that Reliance making them for Tracker. But this is a Tracker battery now. So, Reliance has got the stamp of Tracker, as far as I know. Um, Norsk, you Who, Norsk? Norsk? Norsk. They're in Iowa or something, aren't they? Or where are they at? Elsher, Alabama or something. There's a bunch of them, Iconic, there's uh, there's a bunch, and there's people buying them. You know, I'm just telling you guys, if you're gonna do it, make sure it's reputable. Make sure it's a reputable, don't go to Amazon and don't buy the one that says the greatest lithium battery ever built, and it's built by Jinsu Hai, and he's got high batteries. If you're gonna get high when it blows up, trust me. Go to a reliable company when you're spending the money. Spend the money, don't go buy the one for $400 and think you're gonna get the same quality as these guys. You're gonna have to spend the money to get the quality so you sleep good at night. That'd be my biggest worry. I don't want you to go out and buy that off-brand Twisted Sister pile of crap. Am I gonna get in trouble saying Twisted Sister? No. No, all right, I don't wanna get in trouble. Maybe they'll say something. But we don't want it, we don't, I don't want you going down that avenue. Go to a reputable brand. And I think when it comes to it, you can fall back on the pros and the stuff. You know, these pros run these things every day. Um, you're, 
you go to tournaments, you'll know what these guys are running. You can talk to them about it and see what they're saying. But I'm just here to tell you, this is what we installed. This is what we have success with. Um, Minn Kota or Monster themselves have a charger and a run charger now to charge the 36 on the fly. The same as, it's not the same as PowerPole's plan, but it's the same theories as it when it's running, it's charging the big battery, the 36 on the fly. It's a great system. It's worked. I put them, uh, we had a couple guys who put them in here. They didn't believe me at work. They went up to the dam spot lock, let it spot lock, it did their thing. It didn't waste power. Got on it, drove around, did a bunch of slot fishing, shallow water fishing, beating up the troll motor, still the same amount of power, still were able to run back to the dam, spot lock in the current, and hold them all day long. The guys that have committed and spent the extra money have been very happy. I mean, they're buying full packages for 3,000 bucks, 25 to 3,000 bucks, and they're putting them in their boat, and they're extremely happy. The, if it was me, I would. if you don't have Bluetooth capability, I would run a gauge. I would put a gauge at the dash or up, to, up at the council or up at the bow, so you can see what, how your batteries are doing. See what's going on. Uh, if you're running a power pole charge, you can fire that thing up. You should be able to see it on your Lowrance. You can Bluetooth your end. You can Bluetooth this also. So you can see what's going on. But if you don't have that capability, then I would run a uh, LED. They make an LED 12 to 36 volt. It's a tiny gauge. You can plug it right into there. Take it off your battery so you can see it. There's nothing wrong with that. You understand what's going on. So when you're plugging it in at night too, you can go and see it. So, um, but. Just some little things about that, that uh, you're gonna get, you, the thing with these there guys, you're not gonna have a lot of post room. So that's that's what, literally what you have right there. Can you see that, Jordan? That's literally what you have for room there. And you have a lock washer on there, plus a flat washer. So you don't have a lot of room to put a lot of stuff on here. So you, But you shouldn't have a lot of stuff on here. You know, that's what I'm saying. You shouldn't have a lot of stuff. That's literally what you're gonna get. It's literally all you're going to get so you don't have a lot of room but um i don't i don't recommend putting any external crap on here i don't you just don't want that you want a tight finish you want it tight right to the battery no wiggling no sparks no crap all that stuff now one last thing some of you guys that bought them maybe you get there and they're zeroed out or there's no there's what's called a ground reset on them so positive on ground resets turns the battery back on um, I will not do a ground reset on a off-brand battery. I'm not doing any ground resets on any of that stuff. I will ground reset any brand I sell and see if it fixes it and brings back the voltage. We had, uh, I think actually this lithium pro went down and it just went down because it hadn't been charged and it just basically turned off. It just click, turns off, kind of safety mode, hibernation mode. You just gotta wake it back up and get it back going again. So. That's another thing, but you, you can go and talk to these people about all this stuff. Those those answers are out there if you're scared of certain things, if you're feared or whatever, or you don't know. You just flat out don't know. Get on the web, call the people. Even they got all got comment sections. Get on there, talk to them, see what happens. But uh, buying one, one of these four brands. So that's my thing when it comes to lithium batteries. I would run it, especially on my 36. I would definitely have one. I don't know if I would on my 12 volt side at this point. If I had to, I'd run a house battery. I'd run it as a house. I wouldn't run it on the engine. Um, I would stay away from it on the engine. I just, I'm leery. I've seen some alternator problems coming down the road. I, uh, I've seen some fuse problems, uh, relay kind of problems, burn ups. Um, and if you pull the lithium out, we don't have no problems. So that was just one of those motor things. I think, I think if you were to call the motor brands, they would probably tell you not to put one up to it just until things get figured out how things work. And I know like Lithium Pro, Monster, and these other brands are working, I think side by side with some of these outboard companies trying to get it so that they can start utilizing that stuff. I mean, I mean they're not gonna create a $1,500 battery and then have somebody tell them you can't use it for some reason, right? They're gonna work with the brands to try to make it so it's, we can use it on everything. And that'll be the great when everything works together, we can just plug in one thing and away we go, so. Um, that's it. That's the team talk on lithium batteries. And I hope I answered your question. If not, you always can comment. If you've had issues or you've seen issues or you've done any or you have some brands that you love, comment, 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 comment. Let other people know. Like I say all the time, that's why I do this, to get you guys interacting with each other so you can see what's happening in the world of the marine industry that we call it. Um, I sometimes call it a shit show, but it's been getting better and it's been getting worse. So. Um, that's it. That's all I got for you, Jordan. Is that good? You want more? You got any more questions? Read your owner's manual. I, I said that, didn't I? Read your owner's manual on your battery? Yeah. Start to finish. Yeah.
take a poop and just go in there and read it? I agree, I agree. But I agree with that with everything. We get a lot of tra charger questions, strong questions, uh, battery questions, boat questions, uh, Lawrence, Hummingbird, Garmin questions, because people just don't start at the beginning and read. I'm a, I don't read my stuff. I mean, literally, I mean, I go right to the auto install, done, right? Not here, but in my house, I'm gonna hang a TV and I mean, if I'm putting a bracket up, I'm not gonna read how to hang it, I'm just gonna struggle. <laughs> Why does this work? I mean, I understand. But this type of stuff, you definitely need to do it. We get calls every day, we get emails every day. Um, Jackson's constantly telling people how to operate their electronics. Uh, Chad's constantly telling people how to do their trolling motors. I'm constantly telling everybody how to fix everything. But it's just, it's one of those things. You get that, it's that, it's that if you just would have read your manual, it was right here, it's highlighted, you know. So definitely read your manuals, I agree 100%. Anything else? Are we good today? Is this a great day? This is a great day because we're talking about lithium batteries. Ten years ago, I'd have never said this, that we were talking about lithium batteries. I mean, I was using them in my trail cameras and stuff, but I never thought they were going to make it to bullets that quickly. They're definitely around. Um, that's it. That's all we got. Like I said, get over to Team Service TV, Team Marine TV. Get over there. Comment over there. They can comment over there, right? Yeah. Yeah, comment for sure. Tell Jordan what you want to, I have no control over that. Jordan doesn't even let me see these things on that side. Tell Jordan what you want to see over there and see if he listens, all right? See if he listens. On this side, you're talking to me. Over there, you're kind of talking to him. Same stuff, same deal. We're, we communicate, trust me. But definitely get over there, comment on that, subscribe. You need to subscribe, like I said, because there, you never know what's going to show up over there. Jordan may drop three in one week over there. Jordan may drop one every couple weeks. It all depends on how busy he is and how he's doing. Um, We're gonna have some originals. We have some originals going over there? We're going to. When? You got a date for me? Can I drop a date for these guys? Yeah, yeah. Why? You scared? Nope. You're, just, you're scared of the deadline. You can't yeah. handle a deadline? Come on, give me one day. We've had a Friday video for three years. Right. Every single Friday. Right. I'm not scared of the deadline. Well, give me a date then. I don't know, we have to, we have to plan it out what it's, what it's gonna be. Uh, whatever, he says he's gotta plan it out. He doesn't plan out anything. Two o'clock in the morning finishing my videos. That's why we miss up beep once in a while. But it's all right. So yeah, originals going over there, Jordan said. So you gotta get over there now. Gotta subscribe, gotta click that bell. And here, always make sure that you're always on top of it like you've been. Unbelievable, you're gonna surpass the Africa video. I know you are. Jordan, how close are they? You know, like 150 views off. It'll be over tomorrow. It's going over. It's going over, that's my bet. And I'm gonna pick another winner on that side over there. So if you haven't gone over and subscribed, you better get over there. We're gonna pick another winner next week for that, for another hat. And um, that's our battery video. We are done for the day, all right? That's it. These guys gotta get back to work, they've been quiet. Neil is now operating in a different bay. We don't get to see him much. You can't see Neil right now, can you? No. Neil, Neil looks all new. Neil, you got a second? What? Yeah, come up here for a minute. Show America what you look like now. No, it was the deal. It was the deal. Um, we need it. Why have we not had a shop life video lately? What's going on, Jordan? People want shop life. We have to finish. Have all you of have you seen the request for shop life? We have to finish all of the stuff that we've been. Doing. Oh, I'm gonna fall off. Right here. No, you're fine. Look it. It's gone, folks. Look it. It's gone. Everything's gone. Yeah, everything's it's, gone. It's gone. He's 20, 20 pounds lighter. 20 pounds. He couldn't handle the heat. No. That's what he said. It was bad. I put him in the Way bay. Too hot. I put him in the bay with no air conditioning. That's why I knew I would win. Get rid of the hair. Epic. Epic. See, I'm jealous because I'm bald as shit. And Chad's bald as shit. And Neil had all the hair and we were just done with it. We didn't want to deal with it no more. So Neil got rid of the hair. Neil's back to the bald side. He's getting, he's taking care of it for us. That's it, man. I love the support. I appreciate you guys as always. Make sure you're over on Team Marine TV, subscribed and notified, and make sure that you are here all the time watching what we bring you every week. So, as always, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell to witness the madness that I hope now Monster Marine, Lithium Pro, Rely On, and Dakota is soon to say in bold print, speed, money, no brakes. I'm out. See ya!